welcome to the Eat TV Kitchen. My name's Alan, and today we're going to be cooking eight hour slow cooked beef casserole. Right, here's our ingredients. So we've got uh, one kilogram uh, in this recipe of uh, chuck steak, some celery, a couple of carrots, two onions, uh, two tins of tomatoes. Uh, red wine, in this case I'm using a Merlot, um, please don't go and get a cheap one, get a, one that you would drink, um, it just makes the casserole better. And in the front there I've got uh, enough to make two litres of beef stock. So uh, first up, let's uh, dice up all the ingredients including the beef. Here's all of our vegetables chopped up. Um, the one thing I forgot to say, if you really wanted to, you could throw some uh, mushrooms in here um, or garlic, um, whatever really, whatever you prefer. But um, these are the basic ones, it's very French, celery, carrot and onion. Um, so now we'll go on to the beef. Here's our lovely beef. Um, you might see there's quite a bit of fat marbled through it. Don't be scared of that, that's exactly what we want. Um, as the slow cooks, that fat will come out of the meat but it will also help to keep it beautiful and tender so let's have a look at it and let's just get that chopped up now into um, good sort of bite-sized pieces just sort of roll with whatever you have to there's no rule to this doesn't you can cut it smaller bigger whatever you want to do um, in my case i probably go a little bit smaller than most people would you know i've got a really big piece of fat there and I think that's just pure fat so we'll just get rid of that bit just make sure there's no see that's just pure fat so we'll get rid of that don't need that in there so we'll just continue on our way so this portion uh, one kilogram this is enough to f probably for about four four servings um, if you wanted more, rule of thumb is about 250 grams of meat per um, per person is a, is a relatively good portion, so just sort of stick to that if you can. See, I'm not really, it doesn't really matter how I chop this up. And you can see there's quite a bit of fat marble through it. Just going to go down the middle there. Yeah, and just continue on my way. Yeah. Right. So there we have our meat. Plonk. So our meat's all cubed, all nice. I've just washed my hands and the chopping board. So now we're going to give it a generous seasoning with salt and pepper. Now pepper. That's good. Now the one ingredient I forgot to tell you about before is Flour. Now I'm using a quarter of a cup here. Just tip that over the beef. Or oh, maybe actually run with about half of it. Often I, I don't really measure these things. So just coat the beef generously in flour. As you can see I've got there. Now what this is going to do um, is help the flour on the beef will help thicken the sauce. So you can see I've got excess flour there so I'm glad I didn't tip the rest in. Now we're going to heat a, uh, our biggest, uh, thickest pot. Uh, to a high heat. The last minute I'll, we'll add in some olive oil into the pan and then we're going to fry this beef off just to brown it. Well in the editing of this video I just realized that one entire segment didn't record. Um, lucky it's just a it's an easy uh, part of the process so just after you've fried off the beef uh, remove the beef into a separate pan and then uh, using the same big pan that you cook the beef in, add in all the vegetables, the two tins of tomatoes, and about half a cup of Merlot, roughly. Bring that to the boil. Um, let it boil for a 
couple of minutes just to burn off the alcohol. And then um, as per the next segment, you can then tip all of that back in with the beef into the slow cooker and away we go. Right, there's our beef in the slow cooker. Now we're just gonna add in the uh, vegetables and stock. It's smelling delicious already. So now let's just uh, cover this up, turn it on. And let's cook it low and slow for eight hours. See you in eight hours.